Let me direct your attention to Exhibit D. And this is the Facebook message that Mr. Bellamy sent you, okay. where he states, Connie, first let me address that me and my family are not Negro. I thought you were a better man mm -hmm. than that, but now I see who you really are. You talk about you and you are not messy, but you are from posting on Facebook, just like you contact Nicola asking where I live. And then when I ask you, you lied, I'm going to pay the debt balance within the next few months or sooner. Please note that all payments will go directly to funeral home and not you. If you receive any more money, it will come directly from the funeral home. Don't contact me. And you responded by saying, I see you and your family are all in your feelings about my Facebook page and my posts. Is there some guilt you are feeling? I'll say this, Mr. Bellamy, the bill you owe is to Perry Brothers Funeral Home okay. and its owners, managers, not Harrington Funeral Services. So if you want proper credit on that debt, it's in your best interest to send the payments where you were instructed to. That's all I will say on this matter. Talking about messy, Tony, you have lied for the past three years. You promised and promised and promised. Notice I never used your family name in my post, but a hit dog will holler, won't it? Your Honor, and, and what you read just then was the exact way that I have been trying to be from day one. I've never changed in my support to him and his family. The thing that I told him I would do to carry out the services for his father and his family, I did that. Nowhere did I ever waver in trying to allow him ample time to do what is necessary to try to bring this to a conclusion. Mr. Bellamy, have the new funeral homeowners made any attempt to collect the debt from you? No, ma'am. Okay. okay. That, that was my only question. All right. We'll excuse you now while we deliberate in this case. I think the dispute here is clear. There was one sort of legal question that was mm. perhaps simmering based on the complaint and the answer, and that was whether perhaps Mr. Bellamy didn't owe the plaintiffs anymore and owed the new owner of the funeral home. But after speaking with all of them, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Yeah. So Mr. Bellamy, I believe, still owes the plaintiff the $5,000. Yeah, he clearly said, in any event, I'm going to pay it. Yeah. yeah, and he was trying to make payments. Yeah. And so he acknowledged that he owed this yes. debt. I think it's clear cut. It Great. We have a verdict? Yes. It's unanimous. We'll give the plaintiff the $5,000 he's seeking. This court is again in session. Gentlemen, we have deliberated, reviewed the evidence, and reached a verdict. Let me first say, before I deliver the verdict, that we saw something here today that we don't often see here in the courtroom, which is three gentlemen who are out there in the community doing good every day, providing services for the community in one way or another, and doing so with kindness and grace. And so we are grateful to all of you for what you are doing. With that said, with respect to the legal dispute, this was a pretty straightforward one for us. The only real legal issue that came up is whether perhaps the debt owed might now be owed to the new funeral home. But the evidence on that was pretty clear, and the testimony convinced us that, in fact, it is not the new funeral home who is entitled to collect the debt. It is your funeral services company, even though it is no longer in existence. It's the debt of that company, which belongs to the two of you, and your right to collect. Consternation aside, this was an open and shut one legally. We find in favor of the plaintiffs in the amount requested, $5,000, and that is the verdict and the judgment of the court today.